Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, our brand new website. 2018 Panini Illusions Football, eight box, pick your team number eight. Eight's great. Great eights. Crazy eights. On the 10th, though. <laughs> 2018. It's just too early in the week for me to be losing it. Jeff Goldhaber with one, two. There's everyone else. Three, four, quadruple, last spot mojo. He bought all four teams, the final four teams, all at once. So thanks to Jeff. Thanks to everybody for buying your spots. Really appreciate it. So now we opened up the master case last night, and we did the left side. Now here is R for the right side. So you know it's from the same master case. The last eight box inner was pretty strong. So hopefully... This case will, will trend the same way. So thanks to everybody who filled this up. All right, so there's four boxes back there. There's four boxes right here. Makes eight. Good luck, everyone. Here we go. I've said this before, and I will say it again, and maybe every break I do. I'm glad that these encased cards are now all autographs. I think that adds a, adds a considerable amount of value to this, uh, to this product. So nicely done, Panini. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Here we go. We are, folks, we are five games into this season. What are, what are, what are the surprises so far? What are, what are your surprises? I'm surprised that the Bengals are 4-1. and one. I'm surprised that the Steelers are 2-2. Two and two. I'm surprised that the Titans are 3-2. and two especially with all those injuries early in the season to their offensive line and Mariota's elbow. Browns defense? I don't think the Browns defense was a surprise. You should have heard me all summer talking up the Browns. Nothing about the Browns surprised me. I even took the over on the Browns very confidently. Oh, let's do these first. All right, so these serial numbered cards, unless it's, unless they're 25 or less, I'm just going to set aside right here. We'll sleeve and top load those before they get sent out, just in the interest of time. Our first hit is a nice first impressions two color dual relic or two color single relic out of 100. DJ Moore. That's for John Besson and the Panthers. <laughs> John saying that the biggest surprise is why the skins haven't fired Jay Gruden yet. Neam Hines out of 199. Carlos saying, uh, Carlos saying that the Saints should be four and one, and the Browns should have beat the Saints. Oh no, you're saying the Browns should have beat the Steelers and the Saints. That's right. I was like, kind of pause for a second there. That goes to the Colts. That'll be for David Duffy. Yeah, Browns could be could very well be four and one. The X line says you're surprised Josh Gordon hasn't been suspended yet, right? Bill Belichick runs a runs a uh, tight ship. Nineteen out of fifty. Bill Belichick runs a tight ship. So like Josh Gordon hasn't been like late to practice or something like that. There's Tanner Lee. Oh, and these will also randomize just left and right, even if they're serial numbered. If they're serial number 25 or, or less, then we will uh, randomize that one separately. Any guesses on that redemption? Whoa. Drew Brees and Traquan Smith were right next to each other 
in this pack. Drew Brees threw the pass to Traquan Smith, who then took it for a touchdown to give him the passing yards record. Illuminati confirmed. Rashad Penny's a good one, Josh H. It's ah, Jaleel Scott. First impressions autograph memorabilia for the Ravens, for the Purple Birds. Phillip with the Purple Birds. And your in-case card. Good luck. It's Michael Gallup, 28 out of 49. I'm a little surprised that the Cowboys aren't stronger. Thought they'd be, be stronger. Now, Carlos is saying the Skins are on top of their division, but, but they're on top of the division with a 2-2 two and two record. <laughs> yeah, the N N NFC East is not, is not pretty. I have to say I'm not surprised at how my Raiders are doing. That's about exactly what I expected, I think. I think they'll finish the season strong, but yeah, man, NFC East is pretty bad. Redskins are two and two, Cowboys two and three, Eagles two and three, Giants one and four. Yeah, someone mentioned the Packers, right? Two and two for the Packers. That's kind of weird too. Bears looking great though, three and one. If anybody has any any bets on on. The Bears winning the, the NFC North, that's a that's looking pretty decent. I have them over six and a half wins. I think that's definitely gonna happen. Vikings two and two. I didn't think that was gonna happen. All right. There are points in here. We'll randomize that to one person in the break. Oh, I certainly hope so. John Cards is saying, hey, Raiders got two first-round picks coming up. Think Gruden can change the team with some solid picks. I mean, you think they get a new – I don't think they're going to get a new quarterback. But people are kind of panicking about Derek Carr. I feel like Derek Carr is okay. Ronald Jones is second out of 399. I don't think Derek Carr is like a top-five quarterback, top-ten quarterback. In that. He's more than serviceable. All right, there's Ronald Jones, the second, going to the Buccaneers. That'll go to TJ. And we've got a randomizer, Triple Relic, Legacies Triple Relic, Hunter Henry, O.J. Howard, Hayden Hurst. And that is 12 out of 50. Doomed to a lifetime of losing to the Chiefs, the X line. I have to say, I was not surprised about the Chiefs. I thought they would play well, but... but uh, Patrick Mahomes' individual performance. You know, Patrick Mahomes' individual performance I think has been pretty impressive. Connor Cook might get his shot. I think he's cut. Connor Cook's not even on the Raiders anymore, Vanilla Gorilla. That's how much Gruden thinks about Connor Cook. You were shouting about how Connor Cook was going to be given a chance by Gruden. Gruden cut him. First impressions... And then got A.J. McCarron to back up after an entire preseason. For the Bengals, that'll be for Scott V. Mark Walton. Maybe he wasn't cut. I actually don't know who the third quarterback is. There's Anthony Miller. 
out of 49, red ink autograph. That's a nice one for the Bears, Amy Thompson. Sean, I am watching the Lakers right now. They are looking pretty good. It's, it is the preseason, but it is looking pretty good. The Raiders need R. Joshua. I'll take R. Joshua Dobbs. If he, uh, if he can't run that offense, he can at least build a rocket ship. Nice Kuzma. Yeah, this is we're 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 getting to a great moment in sports, ladies and gentlemen. We got basketball preseason, NHL season just started, basketball season starting at the end of the month. We've got, we're right in the middle of the, uh, well, the ALCS and the NLCS about to happen in baseball. Are we still, are we still chasing the cup, by the way? I don't know where we are in NASCAR. Major League Soccer season, regular season, winding down. First impressions relic, Cortland Sutton. <laughs> Send Groot into space. Well, John Cards is a Redskins guy. He, he's not happy with Jay Gruden. Both Grudens might get sent to space. There's Royce Freeman. Two color patch autograph out of 100. 86 out of 100. Broncos, Oppo Joe Mojo, David No with the Broncos. Yeah, I don't know what Jack Del Rio is doing. Maybe maybe taking some time off. But you would think that he get picked up as a, as a defensive coordinator or something like that somewhere at some point. Sam Darnold, is that a... I thought it was going to be an autograph. No, it's just a relic. Still cool, though. Sam Darnold's great for the hobby. Hashtag good for the hobby. I want him to keep performing well. That's for the Jets. Boombox. I want Baker Mayfield to continue doing well. That's good for the hobby. Saquon Barkley, keep it up. That's good for the hobby. Kalen Balaj gets some playing time. I want all these guys, to, all these rookies to succeed. I want Traquan Smith to keep going off. All right, there's some matching numbers. There's Jimmy G, poor Jimmy G. And we got Cedric Wilson Jr. autograph out of 100 for the Cowboys. Chris Parent with the boys. All right, the encased autograph, good luck. Bam, Hayden Hurst, green ink autograph. 13 out of 15 for the Ravens, Phillip with the Ravens. Nice, I think he finally got some, uh, some, some significant playing time last week. That's good for the hobby, hashtag good for the hobby. Glancing through the standings right now, Falcons one and four is a bit of a surprise. I mean, I know they got banged up on on, on defense, but it's a little bit of a surprise. Not a huge fan of Steve Sarkeesian. They may need to rework that in the offseason. Rams, I knew were going to be good. Five and zero. Oh, can they can they be undefeated? Good. That's hard to do. Yeah, there are there are a lot of Hayden Hurst autographs out there, which is especially why I want him to do well. Hashtag good for the hobby. I think with Jimmy Garoppolo, Niners would definitely would be would have a better than one and four record. 
but sad times. Cardinals, I think with Josh Rosen and Christian Kirk, I want that duo to connect a little bit better or continue to connect. They connected for a 75-yard touchdown last week. That's good for the hobby. All right. Look at these these Chiefs. Terrifying. There's Joe Montana, Chiefs edition, 4 out of 15. And Patrick Mahomes, my homies. For the Chiefs, that goes to the X-Line. They look good, X-Line. Too good. And you would think that if their defense just gets marginally better. There's Josh Allen. Carry on my wayward son. Jersey and autograph. For the Lions, carry on Johnson. Jerry Bennington in the Lions. X-Line, I, I got a question for you. How do you feel about the Chiefs plus three in New England? Is that crazy talk? Plus three and a half? Is that crazy talk? I'm tempted to take that wager. There's Chase Litton, 116 out of 199. That's also for the X-Line. There's poor Darius Geis. First impressions, two-color relic out of 100. That'll go to Scott V. That's what I thought. Yeah, Connor Cook's not... Uh, Connor Cook was with the Panthers. He's not even on the Panthers anymore. So I know you were, you, you were talking about, hey, John Gruden really likes Connor Cook. But, yeah, I don't think so. Ooh, nice. I like that. The X line saying even even with a non-biased vote, he thinks that the Chiefs should actually be a little bit favored. Now Gilo saying, I think Gilo, you're you're a Chiefs guy too, right? Aren't you a Chiefs fan? Um Save that too. He's saying that the Pats will be a tough game for the Chiefs. They don't lose to the same team twice in a row. I don't know. I think some of the mystique, some of the sheen, I think some of that mystique is coming off the Patriots, though. All those numbers about this doesn't happen, they don't lose to this, they don't lose to that. This Kalen Bellage, 11 out of 25, green ink autograph for the Dolphins. That'll be for uh, James Simers. All right, halfway through this eight box break. I think the the you know the home field. I think definitely. Right, Patriots are definitely still a solid team, you know, but it's not exactly the same scary Patriots team that kind of terrifies everybody, you know. Right, they don't they don't have a lot of firepower. Like if you know, you you can just kind of stop Gronk and then let like Chris Carson try to beat you. Just double team Gronk. <laughs> I mean, Sony Michelle's decent, but is he going to single-handedly beat the Patriots? And I, I think the Patriots' defense, which is, I think, kind of middle of the road, I don't think, I mean, they're not going to be able to stop the, that Chiefs offense, right? It's just too, it's just overwhelming. Gronk might even be injured, David. No, right? Is Gronk injured? He's asking. He might be. And then it's even even better for the Chiefs. 
I'm seriously thinking. I'm seriously thinking. Uh, seriously considering Chiefs plus three and a half. I feel like a lot of the public will be on. Will be on the Patriots out of ten. Oh, sorry, out of one hundred. Sorry, ninety-five out of ten wouldn't work. Ninety-five out of one hundred. Darius Fountain of Youth and Neam Hines. Colts. David Duffy. Now that I say that, Josh Gordon's going to go off? I don't know. We haven't seen him go off yet, right? I was a big proponent of the Josh Gordon, but... Adam Thielen, 29 out of 100, spotlight relic for the Vikings. Conrad... There's Marlon Humphrey out of 99 for the Purple Birds. Yeah, I think I think yeah, I think Josh Gordon's still learning that offense. That's more of a that's more of a precise kind of offense, and I think Josh Gordon is just more of like a raw power speed kind of guy. And I don't know if he's he's got to he's got to make sure that his routes are are being run really in a crisp fashion before Tom Brady is going to going to trust him. I don't know. Does Edelman really scare anybody anymore? Quarter all Patterson? No one knows how to use quarter all Patterson. First impressions, nice. Nice relic, nice autograph out of 50 for the Buccaneers. That's for TJ. All right, yeah. Chiefs are good, X-Line. I have to begrudgingly say that as a Raiders fan. At least it's not the Broncos. And there's Mike Kosicki for the Dolphins. Another Dolphins encased autograph out of 100. It's another one for James Simers. All right, next one. <laughs> John Cart's also saying, see, that's how it is. You say, who's scared of those weapons? And then a week later, they all go for 100-plus yards and a few TDs. That's how the Patriots work. That's going to stop working at some point. Brady's getting older. Gronk is getting older. Those guys are getting older. I guess the Chiefs' defense is kind of bad. I think, th I think you'll blink, and the Patriots will still have a good record by the end of the season. But I think, I think the that magical sheen is kind of that luster is kind of coming off the Patriots a little bit, at least in terms of sports betting. <laughs> There's Carry On Johnson out of 100 Lions. Jerry Bennington. Carry On Johnson doing well. Good for the hobby. Hashtag good for the hobby. That's two out of 25, Miles Garrett. I think, who was asking earlier? Is it Cody who was saying, has anyone seen a Miles Garrett autograph? We don't have seen a lot of his autograph. That Brown's defense definitely is strong.
Any guesses on this redemption? There's Deshaun Hamilton. First impressions relic. Got a 499. That is for the Broncos. David No. Oppo Joe Mojo. Oh, sorry, Trey Quan Smith, just throwing him around. I know that I feel safe with my family Trey Quan Smith. Should the uh, should the Eagles get Levy on Bell? Maybe. And there's Harold Landry. Carlos with the Titans. There you go, Carlos. You're on the board. 87 out of 199. It's Jaleel Scott, another one for the Ravens. First impressions, autograph, memorabilia. Philip, you're starting your uh, Jaleel Scott redemption card collection, whether you like it or not. Next in case autograph is Christian Kirk. Three out of five. For the Cardinal, Jeff Goldhaber with one of his last spot mojo teams. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. Nice. Caught a big touchdown from Josh Rosen last week. Hashtag good for the hobby. Need a few more of those this season. <laughs> That'll be good for Christian Kirk. Secondary market value. Nice. All right. Two boxes to go. We're almost done. We're flying through this break. Now, after this, what are we going to do after this, folks? We're going to, after we're done with this, we'll be in our last, the last hour of the broadcast. Um, well, I only see one order from Matthew coming in. And unless Matthew bought all, all the last spots of limited football, which I don't think he, maybe he did, I don't know. But limited football, I think, is our best bet after this. Down to six on that one. So the sooner we fill that up, that limited football on jazbeescasebreaks.com, the sooner we do that, the sooner we can maybe squeeze in another break before we call it a night. Cody West says, you couldn't work with the door behind you like that? Why? We're in Redondo Beach, California. What could happen here? This is not the, this is not the mean streets of of East Los Angeles or anything like that. Also, the store shotgun is right here. First impressions out of 499 Royce Freeman. Out of 99. Out of 499. But since it's California, Cody West, it's got to be in two different pieces, and the shells are locked away in a different coded safe. First impressions, Jersey and Auto, out of 325. It's not that bad. Out of 325, Nick Chubb. He needs to do well. 
Actually, he's kind of doing okay. Baker Mayfield's kind of overshadowing him, but that'd be good for the hobby. The coach, Paul Nixon with the Browns. Saquon Barkley out of 149. That goes to the Giants. That'll be for Boombox. We've got Vita Vea, TJ, with the Buccaneers. This is one of the guys that he's chasing. There you go, Tej. Vita Vea autograph. 105 out of 100 for that big boy. All right. We've got Judge Ito Smith for the Falcons. 15 out of 50. Who's got the Dirty Birds? David Duffy. There you go. And the final box. Good luck, everybody. All right, good luck, everyone. Keelan Cole played for a rival high school here. They beat us in a state title game your senior year. Cole is your age. And he didn't get to play. Well, who else was ahead of Keenan Cole? Get there, Lance. I have to admit, I am excited about the Lakers season. I don't know how it's going to go. I couldn't even give you a win total projection on the, on the Lakers, but at the very least, they're going to be exciting to watch. All right, final box. Trey Burton. There's Marquez Valdez Scantling. Good for the hobby. Out of 4.99. Miles Garrett again, clear shots. Barry Sanders, Bradford. And we've got a Ronald Jones, a second first impressions relic out of 499 for TJ and the Buccaneers. Oh, that explains. He was like 5'5 five, five and 124 on the roster, and he just randomly grew in college and got good. And I'll do it. That growth spurt will do it. Matching numbers, we've got Braxton Berrios out of 199 for the Patriots. Karen with her pats. Karen, are you nervous about the Chiefs? We talked a little bit about that Chiefs-Patriots game. And boom, there's the big rookie. First impressions, jersey and auto. Baker Mayfield, 004 out of 175, just two off his jersey number. As always, Paul Nixon and the Browns. Nice. Just before we hit triple zeros on the clock, there's Baker Mayfield. And who's been a revelation. I th he's been. I still think I could tackle him. I might not just be able to catch him. We got them. That man is very elusive. Josh Norman to 75. All right, now let's see what that encased card is going to be. Good luck, everyone. This was Illusions. Pick your team eight. We have random teams available 
on jazpieshobbyland.com. So be sure to check that out. Random teams. It's a good price, too. And fresh master case. jazpiescasebreaks.com. Right where the palm of my hand is above my head. That's the website link. Wow. Three out of 25. We're ending with a dual autograph. Leighton Van Der Esch and Michael Gallup. Three out of 25 for the boys. Chris Parent with the Cowboys. Nice way to finish this off. Thanks, everyone. So we didn't we have a triple relic here? I think I put that back in the pile. There it is. All right. So we got a, we got our left right randomizer. We got a triple relic randomizer, and then the constellation points. All right. So let's go to random.org. Let's pull up a few blank lists here. We got left right for one. We've got, um, who are these guys? Hunter Henry, OJ Howard, and Hayden Hurst. And then everyone has a shot at the 150 points from Jeff down to Scott. And everyone in between. Let's randomize all those lists. Uh, five and a four, nine times. Left, right, first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight and ninth and final time after nine times. Right side gets them. So all the teams on the right side will get these matching numbers cards. Uh, let's do the points first, and then we'll close out with the triple relic. Constellation prize points after nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time after nine times. Name on top is Karen. So, Karen, you'll get 150 points coming your way. And last but not least, five and a four, nine times for the triple relic. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, and a four, six, seven, eight, and eight. And ninth and final time. Team on top. Stays with the Baltimore Ravens. There you go. Philip. with the Ravens, you're going to get this triple relic. 12 out of 50 of Hunter Henry, O.J. Howard, Hayden Hurst, a trio of tight ends. And there you have it. Illusions number eight in the books. Thanks to everybody for buying into our breaks on our brand new website. Check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Try the mobile version too. Really nice. We'll see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.